In this video, we're going to have a look around the control panel, which comes with the download for e-commerce templates shopping cart. So once you've uploaded the files to the server made your database connection, you can then go to the control panel and have a look around to get familiar with how to add products, shipping, handling, stuff like that. So the first page, the login page, will be at login.php or login.asp, depending on the, the version you're on. Uh, we enter the username and the password. And we come immediately to the dashboard page and the links to all the pages on the control panel. So let's have a look at the dashboard first. Um, the dashboard comes with some interesting stats and information. Uh, so you can see that today we've had three orders and three new reviews or ratings have come in. Uh, we can have a look through the last five orders with their totals, the status, and then some past stats so, for example, uh, this month we've only had four sales. Last month we had two, uh, the most popular sellers, and the top customers for the last 30 days. You'll also see further down the page all the links to the other admin pages. So, for example, if we want to add edit products, we'd click on the link there. If we want to find out more information about these, we can click on the help file uh, icon on the right hand side. The dashboard is responsive, so it looks good on your tablet or smartphone. You can just give an example of this by dragging the browser and you'll see that it fits nicely with a menu, drop down, it'll fit nicely onto your smartphone, onto your tablet, or of course, on the uh, PC, Mac, whichever one you're using. So let's have a look at some of the details here. So first of all, for example, the first thing you want to look at is probably the main admin settings page. Uh, we've set this. This is our WordPress demo store. Um, we're selling in US dollars. So we've got the country settings to United States of America. Uh, on the UK store, for example, selling in pounds, we changed that to Great Britain. Selling in Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, et cetera, et cetera, choosing the country there. The store URL is very important, the URL here. Um, this is our WordPress demo store, so we've got ectwp.com. But it's important that it's set to the URL of your store. Uh, you can go through all the settings here, the number of products you want per page, uh, how you want the products ordered, for example, if you want them ordered by price. Um, if you want to receive an email on orders, the email address that should be sent to. You can have a filter bar on the products page, and these are the various options. For example, how many uh, products to show per page, if you want them filtered by price or by manufacturer, etc. Here we've got the shipping methods that can be used on the store. We're using weight-based shipping here, but you can choose uh, not to add shipping, but then the other options like uh, USPS, UPS, Canada Post, FedEx, uh, DHL, etc. Those are the settings here where you add your typical uh, usernames or retailer ID or, or whichever for the shipping method uh, you have enabled. The software comes with a stock management program, which you can turn on or off in the main admin settings page. You can choose which language for the admin, which language to show on your store, and the number of languages of the same database. You can have up to three, and then choose which elements uh, you're going to translate there. Uh, so Cardinal Commerce of using Verified by Visa, and if you want to show um, prices in other currencies as a guide to pricing, uh, you can do that here as well. 
So the first thing you probably want to do is to set up a new product. Uh, to do that, first of all, we'll set up a new category. So we go to the Categories Admin page. If we list categories here, you'll see the categories already on the store. These are the sample ones that come with the initial download. These categories in bold are ones which can contain products. The, these ones are ones which have subcategories. The number in brackets here is just the category identifier. So let's uh, add a new category. Here we go. So category name, let's call it test. Working name, test as well. That's just for internal use. It's a subcategory of the home category. We'd add products to this. We don't have a category image, but we can add it here and upload it. A description of the category. Restrictions, well, we're not going to restrict it, make any restrictions on this at the moment. This is typically used with wholesale pricing. Uh, category get Earl is if you're using some of the search engine friendly features, you probably don't want to set this at the time for the time being. And if you want to set a header, um, some text, graphics that come before the uh, category on the categories page. So we'll submit that. And now what we do, once we've checked that it's available, we'll then go into the product admin. Again, we can list the products here. We'll have a new product. And again, just for testing, we'll just uh, add a, a few details, give it a product reference, A, B, C, D, the product name new product. The section, well, let's put it in the one we've just set up there, which is test. The price here is, let's say, $20. Wholesale price, we're not using that at the moment. List price, well, normally this retails at 25 so let's have that there. Um, we're using stock management, so let's say I've got 100 in stock. And the product weight, well, it only weighs one. 0.5 pounds or kilos or whatever you need it to be. We can add images here, the small image which appears on the products page, the large image which appears on the details page, and the giant image can either be as a, a pop-up or on a separate page itself, and these can be uploaded from your hard drive clicking on the buttons here. Um, we can assign a manufacturer, so I'll assign myself there, and a dropship, although we haven't got any here. Uh, we'll add a product option. Let's see, we'll have a color. Uh, we add the product description, which appears on the products page, the long description, which appears on the product detail page, and then we've got some various other uh, possibilities at the bottom here. So has static pages only used if you are using the search engine friendly features, recommended with the cross-selling, back order, available, if it has gift wrap, uh, SKU if, if you want to add that, uh, additional search parameters if you want to people to find the product with um, keywords which are not in the product name or description, and we can add it to other categories if we want to. So for example, we'll add it to the peripherals category as well submit and then we can check on our store that it's been added correctly. Here we can see with the number in stock 100. There is a feature here to change the information, the details for each product. So for example, um, product weight and uh, we can add 10 to all the weights of the items on the store and update. Uh, you probably want to have a look through the other admin pages. Um, payment providers page, for example, is where you set up the payments that 
the company that's going to work through to accept payments on your store. Um, email is typically used if you're accepting checks, cash on delivery, things like that. It's also handy for testing on your store. The ones in red here are in demo mode. Uh, you probably want to decide which countries you're going to ship to. So we go to the admin shipping page, and you'll see here that we've enabled a number of countries. You might want to enable fewer. Uh, you can see if the country has a tax associated to it, a tax level associated to it. FSA means free shipping applies and is part of the free shipping discount. And if we need to modify that country, we can do whatever we need there and submit. So the important thing is to have a look around, get used to the various options, and then when you're ready, obviously got your products up, uh, added your shipping, your payment provider, then you can start testing.